finally, for crying out loud, I have been waiting for this box for nearly a year. A year! What is going on everybody? It is Frank the Tank and today we're doing an unboxing video. Now, it's obvious you can see what it uh, is going to be based on the title of the video. So yeah, it's been nearly a year uh, since I've been waiting for this and I've finally got it. So, um, uh, allow me to t give you the little backstory on what led it to these uh, customized shoes. So, um, I got, it all started about somewhere like in early 20... Early 2020, somewhere, I can't remember the exact date, but it started somewhere around there, and I got tagged into this photo. And it was my favorite shoes, the Dexter SST6s, uh, LZs, and uh, they, were, they were all like colored, and they looked really cool, and like blue and yellow, and I thought, wow, that looks really, really awesome. So I liked the photo, and not long after that, the guy uh, ended up following me and he ended up uh, responding to me and he identified himself as Ivan. He is a like a top-notch tattoo artist. He knows how to draw really good on paper and he has uh, and then he also demonstrated his ability to be able to customize shoes and not just like in a really mediocre way. I'm talking about like what what Belmo had done with his shoes if not probably better like he's really really good at it. So yeah, um he uh, found out about me through my YouTube channel, and he uh, f uh, he sent me that photo or that post because uh, he found out about how I um, tried to color in my shoes with the Sharpie, uh, which I'm sure a lot of you have already seen. It was like uh, my shoes were kind of like black and a little bit of green, and uh, I did that because I didn't like the way the LZs uh, turned out out of the box. You know, black and silver are kind of grayish, and it's so boring and ugly looking. So I thought like why not like get a sharpie and color in the the silver spots or whatever of the shoes and you know make it black and green so that it's more along the lines of my favorite colors. And so he heard about he saw that, he heard about it and he told me about these special markers that um that I could use to uh, color in the shoe, those parts of the shoes that I cut colored in green to make the green really stand out more. So, uh, and he told me, he also told me like, uh, these markers are what you are seeing in this post. And I'm like, oh really? Well, they look, clearly they look really nice. So I thought I would try them out. Uh, I bought the markers and uh, I ended up doing this to my shoes. Hold on a second. Voila, not sure if you can really see a hole up. Let me actually, I don't know, the lighting looks bad from the camera, and it also keeps going out of focus. I'm really not liking that, but yeah. Uh, can you guys see that? Like, see that? Black and green. I colored in parts, like for example, this part of the shoe right here. I colored it in black, and then of course you can obviously see the green on it. Uh, so yeah, I was like, that was good enough for me. That's, I, I was satisfied with that. And, um, yeah, um, we ended up uh, uh, talking uh, and, you know, getting to know more about each other and stuff like that, you know. Um, and, um, yeah, we've been talking uh, from, uh, from that day all the way up to this day. And, uh, yeah, we've become really, really good friends since. And even though I haven't met the guy face to face, you know, I feel like he's become a really, really good friend of mine. Uh, someone I can trust and so on and so forth. So, yeah. Um, a couple of months later, he wanted to see what I did with those shoes, so I showed him, and he thought it looked kind of cool. I thought it kind of looked mediocre compared to what he did. Obviously, what he did with his shoes, it takes a lot of time and patience. Patience and time of which I do not have. You know, that's like an artist type of thing where, you know, you can't rush Art, as that, that old man says in Toy Story 2, which is very, very true, you know, you gotta, you know, ve be very, very, very careful. You gotta have, like, the, the, the gentle touch, you know what I'm saying? So, he has that, obviously. So, um, yeah, um, when, uh, yeah, a couple months after that post that he had sent me and after we had talked, um, he was like, hey, after I'd showed him that photo, too, he was like, hey, listen, uh, I can, like, customize a pair for you if you'd like. I mean, just, you know... It's simple. Buy the shoes, send them to me, I'll customize them for you, and I'll send them back. And I was like, that's interesting. You know, I really thought about it, and I'm like, yeah, I've never had, like, a custom pair and, like, professionally done. And I'm like, 
I love these shoes and to have them customized, uh, I, w I would love that. So I was like, S I'm in. So I bought another pair, sent it to him, and a year later, I got him, I finally got, I got him back. Now, why did it take so long? I think it's obvious. COVID. Uh, I ordered the shoes. It took forever just for them to get to him uh, from where I'm at all the way up to him because he's actually out in Berlin, Germany. And um, uh, yeah, it took forever just to get the shoes to him, but eventually they got to him, thank God, safe and sound. And then um, uh, it took a while for him to get the, the things together, like the, the, I don't even know, the equipment and the colors because he didn't have them available right then and there. Um, yeah, it took a long time and he, he would have gotten them sooner, but again, COVID, uh, uh, he couldn't get them any quicker, but luckily he got the stuff eventually. He got to work on the shoes and then, uh, somewhere around, I want to say November or December, I can't remember exactly. He got the shoes finished finally and he sent them back. And unfortunately, again, due to COVID, it took forever for the shoes to get here, but they just got here today. And I, ha uh, I am so excited because I don't know what they look like. I specifically requested to him at the very beginning when I first uh, sent him the shoes, do not send me a single photo or a video, nothing. I don't want to know what these shoes look like. I want to be surprised. So I have no idea what they look like. And I'm, I'm really excited. I can't wait to see what's in here. So uh, let's open this bad boy up. Okay, guys, here we go. Bring out the knife. Let's cut this thing open. And I apologize if the camera goes out of focus. I think it's because of the box or something. But anyway, let's let's just hope it stays in focus for this. So here we go. Oh my goodness. I've been picturing like a thousand different ways that these shoes have probably like were that, that uh, like I've been just picturing like a thousand different ways how he might have designed these shoes. Uh, I didn't ask him like like hey I want it this way I want it that way I I trusted him. Um, you know, enough, you know, I, I knew he wasn't gonna con me or anything. That's why I, 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 for some reason, even though I haven't met him face to face, I felt like I could really trust him and like he wouldn't like steal the shoes for himself or something. And I knew I could trust him enough. Like, like I, I trusted his ability as well to be able to come up with something amazing. And that's why I'm like, dude, come up with something yourself. I know you've got like that artistic intelligence of yourself uh, to like design something crazy out of this world. Just, uh, I don't care as long as the shoes are like black and green. Those are my colors, I am there. If you can do that, I'm there. So here we go. There's this thing like usual that comes with the, the interchangeable sole heel setup guide. It usually comes with the box. All right, and we've got a shirt. It wasn't what I was expecting. Let's start with the shirt. I wonder what's on it. <laughs> oh, what? That looks great. That looks pretty cool. Wow. World's citizen. Oh, you sneaky son of a gun. This is tight. Yo, look at this, guys. Can you see that? Look at that. I don't know if you guys can see that. It says, it, it's a shirt of it, like with his name on it. I guess this is how he's promoting himself. I like it. This is really nice. Give you guys a better look at that. I don't, I don't necessarily know what that is. I think that's, that's a boat or a huge freaking, yeah, that, 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 that's pretty cool. That's some Pirates of the Caribbean type stuff. And I, I really like all this around it. I don't know what that is, but that is awesome. World's a citizen. And then take a look at the back. I'm all wondering what this was. And then I realized my man, Ivan Herrera, right there. One of the very all-time greats. I love the shirt, my man, and I love that it's all in black and gold, too. Nothing beats black and gold. That is cool, dude. Thank you. Thank you so much for the shirt. And, of course, it's my size. Definitely be wearing this. This is nice. Well, that's a fantastic way to start things off. A nice shirt, world citizen. Shout out to Ivan, the man who made this all happen. Definitely got to take very good care of that shirt. That, that's like a prized treasure right there. All right, guys, here we go. The shoes, oh man. And we got a note here. Let's see what it says. It says, hey man, how's it going? Hope you and your family are doing well. Sorry for talking quite a while to paint your shoes, but hey, I want you to know that I've done that with passion. And, well, I'm sorry, I'm, and, and love. I wish you the, uh, uh, all the best and never ever give up on your dreams. I really enjoy watching your videos and 
couldn't have chosen a better person to customize again uh all uh i can't really read that sorry I, yeah sorry i can't really read that i'm not really good at uh reading that but anyway hope that they bring you much more than luck ha uh, hashtag chasing 300 you got close to it huh oh i guess uh, you made this note before i got the 300 now here's the thing ivan uh I wanted to tell you for so long that I had shot that 300, but I wanted to keep it secret until I released the video. So uh, uh, that the note definitely would have been different if you'd have known. My bad, dude. <laughs> uh, P.S. As soon as I've gotten all my new stickers and and staff made, I will send them for you. Best of luck, Ivan Da Silva. At De Silva Custom Kicks. Yes, I forgot to mention that, guys. If you want your shoes customized, you go to him. At De Silva Custom Kicks on his Instagram. You can also get him on Facebook as well. I don't know his uh, the name of his Facebook profile. I'll leave a link in the description below, and I'll put a link at the very end of the video. But oh yeah, he made that. Uh, he made this on December third, twenty twenty. And I didn't release the video until the second day of 2021. So my bad on that, Ivan, but I really needed to keep that a secret. But yes, I'll be keeping this as well. Don't you worry about that. It's time, my friends. Oh man, butterflies in the stomach. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. All right, here we go. We got some stickers, very, very nice. We got a card, fantastic way to promote yourself. I like that. www.ivanherrera-tattoo.com. Very, very nice. I like that. This guy has had it all thought out. Very, very nice. And we got a really nice sticker. I'm telling you, this guy knows how to design his stuff. This guy is no joke, guys. He's not just some like mediocre guy designing something like in his garage or something. No, he, he is like the real deal. I'm telling you. That, that is so cool. I really like that. Very deadly, very dangerous. All right, guys, now it's time to officially unwrap the paper. There are the heels. I don't know what that is. Here we go. God, that looks sick. Dude, that looks like, oh man, that is tight. That's like some army camouflage type stuff right there. I, I love this. What? Dude, that is the sickest thing I've ever seen. Wow, hold up, I need to get a light to this. I feel like I'm going blind. This is too much for me to bear. Wow. That is world-class stuff right there. Oh my God. That is amazing. Guys, oh my goodness. Let's take a look at the other one. Hold on, I'll get to these stickers in the box too. Wow. What? That is incredible. I know it's kind of a little difficult to see because the lighting, but this is amazing. Dude, I, what? That is tight. Here, hold up. Alright, you guys need to get a better angle of this. This is amazing. You guys have got to see this. Alright, guys, take a gander at that. That is like some army camouflage type thing that he's got going on here. I really, really like that. That is incredible. Wow. Uh, he told me as well where I can buy some like uh, green laces to change these out to make it, you know, uh, a little bit better. Like, uh, so he, he uh, showed me a site where I can buy some green laces to make this uh, look better with the green. So I did that already. I got to change them out and then I'll show you guys what that looks like. But this is something else. This is truly incredible. I don't know how the hell he does it. But clearly, as you can see, ladies and folks, he is no joke. This is so amazing. Oh my goodness. I can't wait to use these. I really cannot wait to use these. I got to take very good care of these, that's for sure. If I ever make it to the big time, I'm definitely taking these shoes with me. That is for sure. 
10 out of 10, fantastic job. This is amazing. So there you guys have it. I mean, this, this is truly awesome. I, I really love this. I mean, I can't get enough of it. I, I, I want to go and use these, but unfortunately the lanes are still closed. Dang it. Why can't the lanes be open already? This is so awesome. Oh my God. I got to stop staring at these. I'm like in a trance or something. I swear to God. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, that, that's uh, really all I have for you. And of course, here are the rest of the stickers. Here's, um, so yeah, we already showed you this one here. Uh, this looks kind of cool. Like, look at that. Uh, a frog or something like that with a rose. That's pretty cool. I don't know about these. I don't know what that is. But yeah, here uh, here are some of his cards as well. And here is uh, that huge boat thing again. That's pretty cool. Wish this thing would focus so that you guys could see it better. But uh, there you go. And then there's, yeah, a bunch of his really cool stickers. I didn't know he did, he made his own stickers too. That's pretty tight. It's something you didn't mention to me, man. And if you did, I really wasn't paying attention. But uh, yeah, if you guys want your shoes customized like this or or if you just want them customized and something with your favorite color on it, he can do it. Um, uh, be sure you check him out. Ivan Herrera. Uh, there's his email. Uh, unfortunately, that thing's out of focus. But yeah, I'll, I'll leave everything in the description below so you guys can check him out. And then I'll put something in the outro as well. But yeah, seriously, that is something else. That is truly incredible. I mean... Boy, am I glad I met this guy. <laughs> I mean, uh, I'm going to be staring at these shoes all night. I got to stop. That's really, really unhealthy. The, the, I, I can't look. I just can't look anymore. I got to stop. So anyway, uh, uh, that, that's enough uh, of that. So um, I will be catching you guys in another one. I don't know what I have next, but uh, I still sit here hoping and praying that things get better here in California so that I can get back to the lanes, do some reviews. And um, yeah, as for an update on the whole 900 Global stuff, um, uh, I um, read everything that you guys uh, commented um, about, you know, like what bowling balls from 900 Global. And uh, I'll have you know, uh, uh, cr as crazy as it sounds, Sean Rash himself actually left uh, his uh, top five recommendations in on one of my Instagram on my uh, Instagram posts tell, uh, telling you guys what uh, name of the bowling balls that you guys recommend from 900 Global. He actually left a comment telling me his uh, top five. Uh, that was that was very, very unexpected. I didn't think he'd actually look at it, but thank you very much, Sean Rash. So anyway, uh, let's take a look here. So uh, a lot of you guys commented uh, the Zen, the reality, the volatility, the volatility mm -hmm. torque, the hundred Honey Badger Revival, the White Hot Badger, the Honey Badger, the C4 Ordinance, and the Aspect. Now, um, out of all of these, uh, Sean Rash recommended the Zen, the Reality, the, the C4 Ordinance, the Aspect, and uh, I think uh, the, the Honey Badger Revival as well. So uh, definitely, I got to take his word. I mean, he's the pro, right? He knows his stuff better than anyone. So definitely going to check out those five. Um, I will say that some of these that you guys asked for are uh, discontinued and kind of difficult to find. For example, um, one that I want to look at for myself, one that I have been eyeing for a while was the Flux and the Flux Pearl because uh, I saw Sean Rash using that on TV uh, when they uh, brought the PBA back from the, that long hiatus because of COVID. Uh, they started off with like a couple of like fun events and stuff like the Clash and uh, all these endurance events and of course the World Series of Bowling, uh, the PBA Tour finals uh, uh all the shows that he was on he was using the flux pearl or the flux i couldn't tell which one it was but i thought that ball looked really really cool bright orange and awesome looking so i was like i want to try that ball so um yeah i've added that one to the list definitely going to look for that the flux pearl i think uh, i'll be able to acquire real easy but the flux is a little bit more difficult to come by but if i find it i'll try to get it and then of course the volatility a lot of you really wanted me to look at that one it's been discontinued a little bit difficult to find uh so i can't not do it straight away because I can't find one at least with my specs on it so 
when I find it, I'll definitely do it. But uh, everything else, I'll try my best to find. A lot of this stuff, uh, unfortunately, is uh, very difficult to come by. But I'll do my best. I can't promise anything. But uh, yeah, 900 Global stuff coming uh, to my channel. Um, of course, uh, don't worry. It's not not just because they added it that I'm deciding to do it. I've got other stuff as well. I'm going to be trying out a bunch of track stuff as well. Uh, some Hammer stuff. Uh, I've got a friend coming to my channel. Uh, he's a very big fan of the Hammer brand. I'm not sure if I ever mentioned this to you guys. But once he's good and ready, he'll be on my channel uh, reviewing a bunch of stuff. Um, I've got the Desert Tank from Motive. I'll probably be trying out a couple more Motive things as well. So yeah, definitely got a lot coming along. Uh, and uh, definitely some big changes in 2021, that's for sure. So uh, yeah, uh, thank you very much, Ivan. Uh, this means a whole lot to me, man. Uh, God bless you, man. Seriously, God bless you. You are the man. So uh, yeah, anyway, that's enough of that. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you guys in another one. Thank you very much, Ivan. Love you, man. Uh, hopefully we'll get to meet face-to-face uh, -face one of these days. Hopefully when these... Uh, whole COVID thing blows over. Hopefully I'll get to meet with you. Uh, maybe bowl with you. Who knows? But uh, catch you guys in another one. Thank you very much. Catch you in another one. See ya.